Welcome learners to this mini lecture, which corresponds with pages 199 to 205 of Lewis Mumford's Techniques and Civilization. You may notice a little different twist in today's mini lecture. There is Beethoven music playing in the background. And that is because uh, so far, even though we've painted a pretty bleak picture of life during the paleotechnic phase, which was a reality for millions of workers in the industrialized nations, we will now take a look at some of the cultural giants that this era produced. Names like Van Gogh, Beethoven, and Dickens. The context of the Paleotechnic phase should not be underestimated in regards to the work of these and many others of the Industrial Era. Even though this was a period of brutish conditions for the working class, and maybe because there were brutish conditions for the working class, this was also a period of time when some great creative work on the part of artists, composers, and writers occur. We'll first take a look at some of the artists. And uh, Mumford mentions Turner. And Turner was an artist um, in England who painted using the fog and using the dim lighting and um, so on in, in the paintings as a, as a way, I guess, to... Number one, illustrate maybe some of the conditions of the time, but also to bring out some of the interesting shapes and figures and, and beauty that could also be found in those types of conditions. Whistler was a, an American artist who lived in England most of the time. Uh, here is a painting of an industrial uh, worker who worked in a lime burning factory. And you can see there again the kind of the dismal light, the lack of light, the lack of brightness in this painting. And then finally the last artist that we'll talk about is Vincent Van Gogh who actually uh, lived with miners and, and uh, sketched miners in Belgium and uh, had painted this painting called the Potato Eaters and there were a series of potato eaters that um, basically showed you know these working folks who uh, basically that's all they would have had to eat you know every once in a while meat would have been a luxury uh, for these folks so definitely the conditions of the paleotechnic phase had an impact on art then also music and as we're listening to this beethoven music uh, the mechanical invention involved in music during the paleotechnic phase added to the range of sound it added to the qualities of tone the orchestra, there was a division of labor in the orchestra that could be compared to that in the factory. Uh, standardization and, and the scientific calibration of instruments created the same sound. You could have, you know, as, as composers now wrote music, that music could be, could be repeated in another setting by another orchestra. And some of the great composers, three, Beethoven, Bach, and Brahms, uh, all composed during this era. And then finally, as far as writers go, Charles Dickens was the great writer of the paleotechnic phase and actually had had experience working in a, in a boot blacking factory and saw up close and personal the poor conditions that workers uh, had to live in, had to work in, and had to survive in. He wrote novels that condemned the bad conditions that faced the poor during the times and really had a belief that the poor was the poor uh, were bearing the brunt of the of the cost for progress and for industrialization. Uh, David Copperfield was kind of an autobiographical novel of, of Charles Dickens experiences and then Hard Times another Charles Dickens novel focused on the divide between the bourgeoisie and the proletariat or the owners and the working class. As a, in a summary, you know, the conditions of the paleotechnic phase provided the context for what became a rich collection of music, art, and writing. Also remember to complete the activity and the essay question corresponding with this mini lecture. That activity is found on the threaded discussion boards. And the mini uh, the uh, assessment is in the learning session seven assessments.
you have any questions or problems, please contact your instructor. And thank you for listening and watching this mini lecture.